Viper. We have no clue for what you have done to that duelist. But your actions have made you untrustworthy, and for that, we are kicking you out of the Lancer Tournament. Your place will be taken by another who lost in a previous round. Are you understood? Your wishes are mine to keep, sir. Find someone to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Viper? <laughs> Blaze, how may I be of assistance? Well, for starters, I wanted to say congratulations for getting kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> now, now, Blaze, the plan here wasn't just to participate in the tournament, after all. Now, if you excuse me, I have to retrieve back to Master Mephilus. You just prepare for your next round today. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> Give it up, Exesian. No. Never. Not to the likes of you. Very well, then. I'll make you give it up. I activate the spell card, Power Bond. With this spell card, I'm allowed to fusion summon one mighty menace. One which you may recognize. I fusion summon. Come forth. Chaos Ancient Gear Giant! Next time you'll think twice before disobeying orders. Now go, Chaos Ancient Gear Giant! Attack and end this duel! Oh, uh, Topia? Oh, well... I just wanted to say I was sorry about your friend here. You know, if I wasn't against Fusion before, I am now. Ace, are you alright? Hugo? What happened? Viper... supposingly sent you to the Shadow Realm. Wait, what? Why? I... don't know. Maybe he only wanted you to be in there for a bit. But why only a bit? What purpose would that serve? It was probably just to get Topia riled up. Wait, what? I... <sighs> now I remember. It was all just to turn Topia against us. If only he didn't get that one for all dragon, then none of this would have happened. You mean his ace monster? Yeah. One for all isn't like any other Xyz monster. It's remarkably rare. Maybe I should start from the beginning. After the war ended, most children who lost their homes in the Xyz dimension, including me and Topia, were assigned to different foster homes, one of which was the Heartland Dojo. The sensei there taught us how to duel and such, but one day he decided to host a tournament for all the members. <laughs> now, I play the spell card, Wild Nature's Release! With this spell card, I can increase Bujingite Kajiguchi's attack by his defense. <laughs> Impressive, Ridley, but it's gonna take more than that to defeat me. Oh, I know it's more than enough to finish you off, Topia. That card is mine! Go, Bujingite Kajiguchi! Attack Voltic of the Magic Hunters! Honestly, you should have paid more attention in class. 
activate trap. Dutch Hunter. With this trap card, I'm allowed to special summon one magic hunter monster from my deck to take the hit for Voltic. So come forth, mirror of the magic hunters. Ugh. Damn it. Well, it doesn't matter. I got nothing else I can play, so I'll end my turn. And now, during the end phase, Wild Nature Release would normally destroy Kajiguchi. But, thanks to his ability, I can remove his last overlay unit to negate the destruction. Now it's my move. Draw! I activate the spell card, Rank Up Magic, Terra Firma! With this spell card, I can take Voltic and rank him up by one rank. Interesting. Not good. Rank up, Xyz Evolution! Come forth, rank five! Quake of the Magic Hunters! <laughs> He's not as strong as Kajiguchi. True, but it's the effect that counts. Quake's ability now activates. I use up one overlay unit, then all monsters you control that have their attack points different from the original are destroyed. What? And with no overlay units left, Kajiguchi can't negate the destruction. Ugh! And that only leaves you. Go, Quake of the Magic Hunters. Attack his life points directly and end this duel. Clobbering hammer. No. 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 Game. Well done, you two. You put up a valiant effort, but at the end of the day... Only one can truly be worthy. Topia, if you would meet me later this afternoon. As you wish, Sensei. So wait, Topia won the whole thing? Yeah. Unfortunately though, at the time, nobody really knew why the Sensei set up the whole tournament. But we, along with Topia, would eventually find out. Uh, Sensei... You called? You have done remarkably well in my dojo, Topia, and you are definitely proud to call yourself a duelist. Therefore, I deem you worthy of my card. Its power is yours to inherit. Wait, you mean... Yes, indeed. The one for all, Dragon. Now, Topia. If you are to inherit this card's power, you might as well know its origin. The One for All Dragon was inspired by a powerful being. In order to save his home, he had to fuse his very soul with that of a dragon, giving him immense strength. He was feared by all forms of evil throughout his land, but one day he disappeared from our world. But his legends were still told through scriptures and stone. It was those very legends that inspired the One for All Dragon in the first place. However, little did the creator of One for All Dragon realize that the spirit and power of that man actually was passed down to the card. Fearing that this power would fall into the wrong hands, the creator entrusted nine copies of this dragon to nine of his most beloved friends. The dragon only grants its power to those it sees worthy. And if it does, it will grant them the strength of every previous user that previously used the card. It is a symbol of honor and justice. There are only nine copies of One for All in the entire world. And this is only merely one of them. With it, I will grant you this. The mask that has been passed down from one user of this dojo to another. It has been passed down through generations and generations of duelists. Along with this card. And now, both of which are yours. Thank you, Sensei. It's a remarkable honor. May they both treat you well and guide you to your true destiny. Thank you. I won't let you down, Sensei. 
Ever since that day, Topia became obsessed with revenge against the fusion dimension. Maybe it's because of how powerful he saw one for all as. Maybe he saw it as an opportunity. <sighs> Hugo, I don't know how, but you have to stop him. Revenge isn't the way of our dojo. Also, I just can't bear to see him doing this anymore. Well, you can count on me. If I ever face him, and I will face him, I'll be the one to make him come to his senses. Thank you. I'm glad I got to talk to you when I did. Right. Now all I need to know is who I'm facing in the next round today. Let's see here, it's, uh... Against Topia? Well, that was convenient. Hugo. Hmm? The Topia I know is still in there somewhere. Be careful. Don't worry. I will. May they both treat you well and guide you to your true destiny. Thank you, Sensei. I now know what my destiny is. To rid these dimensions of fusionists once and for all. Is that so, huh? Who are you? Just a wandering traveler. I just came all the way here just to seize your help. And how could you possibly help me? Simple. By helping you grant the same thing that we both want. Revenge. The ability to purge all dimensions of the very word fusion. And I know how to make it happen. Is that so? This very act all starts with this. This card. Why give it to me? It will all come clear. All you have to do is use it against your opponent, and you will see the true power that your dimension possesses. What's the point of it any... All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next round of the Lancer Tournament. For our first match, we have these two lucky competitors. In this corner, we have Hugo. And in this one, we have Topia. Look, Topia, I don't want to fight, but save the speech. You may not want to fight, but I certainly do, because once I'm done with you, I'll be able to obliterate every single Fusion on the planet. So be it then. Duel! Duel! I'll go first. I draw! I'll start by playing the spell card, Heart of Evolution! With this spell card, I can evolve one monster in my hand. So I'll evolve the pocket shellfish otter that's in my hand. I expand the DNA strand and evolution summon level 6 Pocket Shamurai Otter. With this monster's evolution summon, I can use its special ability to look at the top three cards of my deck. I choose one to add to my hand, the other two go to the graveyard. I set one face down and end my turn. It's my turn. Draw! Since I control no monsters, I can special summon Speedster of the Magic Hunters from my hand. And by doing so, I can increase or decrease its own level by one. I choose to increase its level by one. Next, I'll normal summon Cloak of the Magic Hunters from my hand. And by doing so, I can activate its special ability, adding one Magic Hunter monster from my deck straight to my hand. And if it has 1,500 attack points or less, which it does, I can summon it. Come forth, Mirror of the Magic Hunters! And when this monster is special summoned, I can use its special ability to change its level to the exact same level as Cloak, changing it from a level 1 to a level 4 monster. 
Now with these three monsters, I build the overlay network. And exceed summoning with three monsters? I know that one for all dragon only requires two, so what's he going into? Behold, I exceed summon rank four, Void of the Magic Hunters. Oh, I guess that. Well, it's not as strong as Shamurai Otter. Void, go, attack, Shamurai Otter. Well, if he's battling with a weaker monster, it can't be anything good. I activate my trap card, Pocket Substitute. At the cost of 500 of my life points, your attack is negated. <laughs> Clever, but that still won't stop Void's ability. When it battles a monster, I can discard an overlay unit. And by doing so, your monster is destroyed automatically. So Shamurai Otter is destroyed anyway. That's where you're wrong. I activate Shamurai Otter's special ability. I banish one XP card from my graveyard. And by doing so, its destruction is negated. <laughs> Clever move. But unfortunately, clever moves never last too long. I end my turn by setting two cards face down. And it's your move. Turn one and I'm already sweating. Snapping him out of this is going to be even harder than I thought. <laughs>